Monday Night Football. Saints at home against the Redskins. Six and 52 the total. Ingram back from his suspension. And this is a unique scheduling spot because the Redskins are off the bye. I don't think you want to buy this early. And we don't know what to make of the Redskins. Yes, they, uh, they, they beat Arizona, who stinks. They lost at home to the Colts and then beat Green Bay at home. So we don't know a lot about the Redskins. And the Saints are looking forward to the bye coming up after this game. Yeah, sure. Uh, and the Redskins, I mean, the talk for Washington about the bye is that they're supposed to be healthier coming out of it. There are a handful of guys that were banged up, you know, or really banged up. You know, Trent Williams has time to heal, got his back into practice. Josh Norman uh, got back into practice. Adrian Peterson's quote, the bye week came at the right time, not only for me, but a lot of other guys on the team that were banged up. Gives you that extra week to heal up and lick your wounds. Of course, Washington is most assuredly going to remember what happened here last year in New yeah. Orleans. They're up 31 to 16. There's less than six minutes on the clock. It's a game that Chris Thompson broke his leg. It's a game that Sean Laval got hurt and didn't play again the rest of the year. And, oh, that 15-point lead with less than six minutes to play, they ended up giving up two quick TDs and lost in overtime. It was a loss that essentially ended any chance they had at making the playoffs. John Gruden talking about that loss that they still remember through the bye week from last year. Quote, it was a pretty solid game for what it was at 55 minutes, probably on both sides of the ball. On the road, it was a tough environment, but offense, defense, special teams played well. In the last five minutes, we failed to get a first down, and they scored two touchdowns and 15 points in five minutes. Washington still remembering what happened a year ago. And we're talking about, you know, why the love for the Redskins. You know, this line sitting at six, open six and a half. I thought it was going to go to seven. Instead, it's come the other way. Total's been bet down a little bit as well. The 52s, trying to see 51 and a half and 51s out in the markets yeah. here on Monday morning. Uh, but from a side standpoint, why the Washington money? I'll give you one stat, and it's only one stat. Real simple. The Redskins are outgaining their opponents by a full yard per play. Very short sample size, only three games. But at plus 1.0 yards per play, that's number three in the NFL when it comes to the offense versus the defense. And that's a stat that right around October, the wise guys start to take very, very seriously. That's why the Washington Redskins are a popular wise guy choice on Monday Night Football tonight. That and the fact they think Drew Brees might be a little bit distracted. Yep. Uh, Saints 2-5 and five ATS last seven is home chalk. You also, they're going against the worst. The Redskins are going against the worst pass defense in the league, according to Football Outsiders. You mentioned the distraction. Brees supposed to, should break the record tonight. Peyton Manning's record just needs uh, over 200 yards. Ingram on Breeze, he's breaking records every year. He's always in accomplishing something, always some milestone. Won't be the first time I've seen him break a record. Won't be the last time I see him break a record. Just another day in the life of a, being a teammate of Drew Breeze. Ingram back. Kamara and Thomas led them uh, to the up to a decent start. And Thomas, I mean, at one point, he had 41 targets and 38 receptions. He's been a beast for the Saints. And we'll see if it's going to be a shootout in this one. And see how Alex Smith uh, plays as well, as he's uh, had his early success for the Redskins, too. They figure to be able to throw on the Saints. Yeah, and sure. And when, when you talk about the issue with Michael Thomas, I and mean, Michael Thomas had an incredible start to the season, but he looked like the Saints' only weapon. Last week, Giants keyed on Thomas, and you know what? Boom. All of a sudden, all the other guys from New Orleans start to step up. That was a very positive sign. Another very positive sign. As you mentioned, they had Kamara, and Kamara's been a monster. Now they get Ingram back, too. Obviously, uh, with the dual running back system, that keeps them fresher. I would expect the Saints to be running the football more than some might expect tonight. And that doesn't make me excited about the over in this game. There's a reason money's coming on the under. And I think that's because market's expecting both teams, not just the Saints, but even the Redskins as well, with Peterson and Thompson, be running the football a little bit more than they're throwing it this evening. This might be a running back fest on Monday Night Football. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.